G'day guys. Every now and then I make the drive over to Waranga Basin and chase a few redfin around. Today I've driven over here not for redfin, but to try and catch a few big car. Righto, so the wind's coming straight at me. It's bringing waves up on the shoreline. I'm not too concerned about that. In fact, for Waranga, that's not too bad at all. But corn is the bait of choice today. So the first rod I'm just going to put out on a little bit of an angle over that way. Like that. Now that's not in that deep of water. There's probably only a metre of water there, but that's fine. I'm betting on the fact that because there's rocks here and the sun's out, the carp will be up baking on the rocks. Now in order to cover some deeper water, I've brought my 12 foot surf rod, also with corn, a bit of a heavier sinker. So I'm going to cast this one out literally as far as I can. Let me get a fair bit of line there so I can whip it around. Let's see how far I can get this. It probably won't even show up on the camera. <laughs> Wow, okay, that's gone a mile. I think the corn's probably wrapped around and around and around the line too, but oh well. The bait's out there, let's see what happens. You can see the waves are grabbing the line and making the rod tips bounce all around. But I've got the bells positioned and the rods positioned so the bells won't ring unless I get an actual bite. So that'll help me monitor the rods. That one was a bite. It's a long way to come up here to get the bells off, but <laughs> there we go. We've had a nibble on the one that I cast way out. Uh, just wait for him. Oh, there we go. He's still there. Just got to wait for him to take it. Have a good go at it. Come on. Well, I've been fishing for about an hour. I've had no action yet. Well, I can't say no action. I did have a little touch on that rod i think it was a touch either that or it was a big wave that rung the bell anyway it's been very quiet so i'm thinking i might actually pick up and move to just over there and you might say what's the difference between here and just 10 meters to my left well here i'm casting out straight to the middle of the lake the colder water will be out there i reckon there'll be shallower water over here in this bay and i reckon the water might be a bit warmer in that direction so i'm just going to move over there and cast in that direction instead and see if I can find a fish. You are not going to believe it. I just wound this in to see what's happening and I caught a bloody red fin. It must have took the corn as it was moving. You've got to be joking me. That is the first red fin I've ever caught on corn, I can tell you. I turned the camera off and I started packing this up to move over there, like I said, and I caught this little red fin on corn. He had to have taken it while it was moving, like a lure. You silly fish. <laughs> oh, I'm not allowed to put carp back, but I'm allowed to put you back. See you, mate. Choo, off he goes. Oh, well, fish on the board. That's a start. <laughs> uh, red fin or not, I'll keep up with my plan to move over there, I think. <laughs> I might leave the uh, camera on when I pull that rod in, though, just in case the same thing happens. <laughs> All right, let's pull in the surf rod and move it as well. I don't think there's anything on this one, but it's hard to tell. <laughs> Got a 50 pound braid and a 12 foot rod and a heavy sinker. I'll just bring it in and we'll find out. <laughs> oh, yeah, something hit it on the way in and again. There's redfin hitting this corn as it goes through the water. Maybe I should just switch to lures. <laughs> right, oh, take two at spot two, where I hopefully catch fish number two. Whoa, okay, that was not a wave, that was a fish. Moving over here was the right choice. That was a good bite. Pick this up and give him a little bit of slack so I can see when he takes the line. Because that rod tip's bouncing around like crazy. Righto, Mr. Carpio. You should feel no weight now if you take the bait. And I'll be able to strike and pull you in on this gigantic oversized rod. <laughs> well, sadly, he didn't come back for a second go. But 
I've pulled it in, checked the bait, cast it way out to buggery again, and hopefully he's still hanging around or another one is, because I would really love to pull in a big fat carp today, not just that little red fin. Nibble on this one now. Maybe they're coming on the bite. I'm not going to pick it up, I'm just going to be ready. Well, they all seem to be one hit wonders today, but at least I'm getting bites after a couple of weeks of very, very slow fishing over where I live. Keeping me on my toes, that's good. Had a little tap on this one again. I'll pick it up this time, just for something different. See if I can score my first Carpio. I can. I've got him. Yes! Feels like a good fish too. Whoa, yep. <laughs> you ripper. This is what I came here for. And this is on the smaller rod that I didn't cast out as far. I've had bites on both though, so I won't move them around. But this will be a fish on the board, assuming I can land him. Oh no, he's gone over to my other line. Where are you? Don't you tangle around. Come on. I think he's, is he over it or under it? Ah, no, he's right there. <laughs> you beauty. Oh, look, he's not even huge, but he's a bit of fun. <laughs> a lot heavier than that red fin I pulled in. <laughs> come on, mate, up you come. I didn't even bother with a net because the ground's so flat here, I can just beach him. Oh, look, he's tiny compared to what he felt like. He had some go. He's probably about 45 centimetres at a guess. But um, just because I can, I'll pull out the measuring tape and we'll find out. <laughs> come on, mate. Up the bank a bit more so you can't get away. There you go, the old carpiometer isn't too bad considering it's been a while since I've caught one. 44 and a half, we'll call it 44, I guessed 45, that's pretty good if you ask me. Now, I'll pull something out of my bag I haven't used for quite a while as well. Do you know what this is mate? That's uh, the carp donger or the good night stick. Thanks for coming to play buddy. Let's have one, I'll hold him up for one last look because it might be the only carp I get. There you go. One Waranga Basin European carp or mud marlin or sewer bass or golden garbage or whatever you want to call it. That's a carp out of the system. Thanks for coming to play buddy. Time to meet the good night stick. Night night. Well I'm getting some bites now and the winds definitely improved. There's a lot less waves around. But uh, I just wish the sun had decided if it was going to peek out or hide behind the clouds because I've taken on and off my jumper about five times now. I'm about to put it back on. <laughs> well, the sun has now vanished completely and so have the fish. I haven't had a touch for about an hour and a half, so I'm going to call it quits on the bait fishing session there. Uh, I might flick around a spinner before I leave, but if I catch a few reddies in that, I'll make that into a separate video. But I'm wrapped to have caught a couple of fish after a couple of weeks where I've barely had a bite. If you enjoyed watching it, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and I'll see you next time.